Ian, an interest in four days of cricket, how do you assess that game? Uh, a really, well, first and foremost, what a beautiful four days down at Hove. We've had a load of kids in this week. The atmosphere has been amazing, amazing wicket. Um, and Sussex scored 588 runs. That, that's one absolute massive positive that, you know, we've been working forward. I, I really like the makeup of our top six at the moment. And then we had a tricky session, obviously, just after lunch today. And then Ali Orr's come out flying again with Tom Allsop and played beautifully again. And that first innings, 588 runs, as you say, there was efforts really from top to bottom. Everyone contributed. How pleasing was that for you as head yeah, coach? I mean, brilliant. Even, you know, young Coles going to the next level, Delray getting some more runs. Um, obviously, Tommy Allsop, amazing. Ali set the tone. But obviously, we, we can't do that without reflecting. Obviously, we're very disappointed, obviously, to obviously go for 700 odd runs. And Alistair Orr, that's three centuries now for him this season. He really looks like he's becoming a top, top player at the top of the order. Two centuries this year. Two, two this year. And a 99. Um, look, he's really benefited from working with Grant. He's really benefited from changing, not surviving at the crease, but having intent to score runs. And then the, the, what we talk about all the time is we want to encourage people to be all format cricketers. I think him playing T20 cricket is helping his four day cricket. Just to go on the bowling. I'm really happy with the wicket Ben produced. It's an absolute belter. We want to produce players that can play for England. If you learn to bowl here, you will end up playing for England. That, that is the bottom line. We want our batters to play on good wickets where they can score runs, trust their techniques. That's a test match wicket. And, that, and it also shows you how brilliant the people like your Anderson, your Broads, you know, these types and people like Leach now and Swans and all these part of the world, they would love to have bowled on this wicket. I, I would have been really, you know, um, the Deland, um, Colsey are, are mainly batters who bowl spin. Yeah. They were, they're perfect um, second spinners to a top class spinner. Um, we we've, we've desperately miss a first choice spinner. Um, but I actually, they didn't bowl that badly and also two blokes played outstandingly well. But also if you look at one absolute international cricketer who played, he was absolutely superb. Captain the side brilliantly. Stephen Finn showed why he played international cricket in this game. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask. Tom Haynes obviously was so disappointed to lose him. He's been a great captain for us and a great batter. But Steve Finn, he really stepped up. He took wickets. But on the field, he was, he was everywhere. He was very vocal. It's very obvious to see he was a leader in the team. Yeah, he was an absolute warrior. He, he just proved absolutely everything that I knew about him in this game. Um, stepped up. Whether he continues to captain, I don't know yet because it's a big ask. But what he is, is the leader of our attack. So he leads our bowling group, uh, him and James. They lead all, everything that's going on. So even clearing up confusion from the last game, bowlers always go to Steve Finn as well as Tom Haynes because he knows all the plans as does Hainsey and they will go to him for advice because he is international class bowler still. And then next week is a trip to Lords, very special place to go and play cricket. How much are the boys looking forward to that? I mean, look, they're going to probably have to rest a bit after this game first. <laughs> um, look, it's always a special place to play. I know I dreamed of playing there as a kid and I was at MCCYC when I was there and I made my test match debut. I know how special this place is. So. Um, I'm sure the guys are looking forward. They've got their infamous uh, lunches there as well. But just to be able to walk out on the hallowed turf and then obviously the following week we're at Trent Bridge as well. So the next two fixtures are mouth-watering for us.